to in the picket fence studios uh, we have the amazing nicole with us How well, are you it, today? there we go there we go and we're gonna be playing with some brand new products so i'm gonna take it over to her because she is the uh, guru of all things picket fence <laughs> Hi. so we're going to be working with um paper glaze not necessarily new however we have a new paper glitz before we only had paper paper glitz Sparkle, that was a, um, they're, all of our glitz are super shiny, but one that didn't have a mica base to it. Well, now we have, don't freak out guys. <laughs> so now we have paper glitz gold sparkle, okay? So when it first came out, I thought, oh, I'm so excited, so excited. And then when it, when it came home to me, when, um, for after, because I make the recipes, I create everything and then I send it to my sister-in-law in our lab and then she runs the test batch. Well the first time it came back I grabbed a piece of white paper and ran the gold sparkle through the stencil on white paper and I was like man it's just not gonna work. But then a couple of days later I did it on black. That is awesome. And um, this was actually so easy. This was done with a plastic spoon. Ooh, look at that shimmery shine. A plastic spoon at our Airbnb because, you know, it it's so new it had to be, uh, we hadn't even tested it the second time. So, so, and then also, here's one where I die cut it. Oh my goodness. So you just put it on the black paper again? I put it on black paper and, and then, then just die, die cut, cut it after it dry. Yeah. How long does it take to dry? Uh, it depends on where you live in the world because it's all about humidity and your climate and if you have a fan. If you have a ceiling fan or a fan blowing on it, that will quicken it up within 10 minutes. I live in Louisiana, so... It takes a little longer. <laughs> no, gosh, no. Louisiana our humidity. So for me to be able to run it through a die cut machine, 35 minutes. Okay. For me to be able to trim it with a paper trimmer, 25 minutes, which is super fast compared to any other product. So I wanted, I was annoyed that it just wasn't working with white. It was coming out on great on um, darker paper. So I decided, well, let's see what happens if I take the paper glaze, regular paper glaze, not um and ran paper glaze through a stencil now this paper glaze this stencil stained i didn't clean it so none of that blue is going to come pay off. no so, attention to the blue in the background yeah, so we're just you know <laughs> going to scrape this off and you guys have a wide variety of the paper glaze colors i mean just colors see paper. some of the yumminess of the colors here so I decided. Look, just showing them all. Yeah, we have forty different. They colors. are so yummy and, and pretty. And we have some in ombre sets. Oh. And those colors can only be purchased in the ombre sets. Um, and what makes your glazes and your pigments just a little bit? I mean, we were talking about this off camera. So can you tell me? Just reiterate what we were saying sure. before. <laughs> so our glazes are. It's my formulation. You know, I'm an elementary school teacher by trade. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is something that I'm a creator and it was a product that I wanted in my own life. So they are extremely pigmented and very flexible. So it's you're never gonna have a crack mm. when you are you know sending your card and some of them they have they put plastic inside their formulas and um, they'll dry out or after even it's dry it'll crack and you can see with ours they're very flexible oh, wow, so nothing's nice. going to crack you don't have to use it just on paper it'll dry on pretty much anything including your clothes so but <laughs> is it machine washable then if it comes um, out or is it going to it be there will be there probably. okay well that's a good thing so, though because yeah. then you can use yeah, it you can use i mean like pretty much on anything yeah a man came by today and he's interested in um the enhancer and the glitz because he does he refurbishes found wood mm. and he needs to sometimes highlight certain aspects of it and the fact that it's shiny and can be manipulated made him very happy <laughs> but this is drying believe it or not so i want to put a layer of our new 
gold sparkle on top. And I am going to stir it because, guys, this, my um, tool is dry. The pink is not going to come out. Now that's very, very fast. This no, is I meant like the thickness of yes. the medium. So this, you're going to see that the sparkle ones are going to run like this. And this is because, of, like I was telling you before, for us to get the unbelievably, ridiculously shine to it, we have to use a raw material that is chopped up as small as possible before it would just turn to dust. Mm. So it is going to, to be runny. However, you know, as long as you're not scooping it out like ice cream, <laughs> you know, taking a big old blotch <laughs> of it out, then it's going to be fine. You shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever. So, and then how fast does it dry in the bottle or does it stay like shelf life? So it, that all depends on where you live too. That depends on how well you take care of your products. Mm -hmm. If you are um, like my spatula, I'm about to take my spatula and just dump it into a bottle of water on the floor. <laughs> and then also clean around your lid and make sure you don't have anything that will keep it from closing all the way. And then once you close it, you can't leave, you got to close it all the way. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, I <laughs> yeah, understand that. I mean, that. I'm not being sarcastic, but <laughs> it's true though. I've heard some people put like saran wrap. Oh. Or, that is not necessary with our product. Keep it out of the sunlight. Yeah. You know, if you don't run your air conditioner, it's going to dry out faster. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I would say that you sh any type of glaze, you should try to use most of it within a two to three year period. I mean, because, you know, it's not meant, it's meant to be used. Right, so no, try totally to get it. it. I mean, you bought it for using it, right? right? Yeah. Right. So I'm worried this is going to be sticking because oh, we've yeah. been looking we at it. We were chatting and, uh, yeah. oh, but look, so it's as so, you so pretty. See, peel it off oh look at that look yes. at that shimmer and shine so guys. i purposely i like stencils that are larger than my cards and the reason why is to see like there's a boo-boo right there mm -hmm. okay well then i can cut that boo-boo off yeah yeah you yeah, know, yeah something like that and then now can you take that stencil and do something more with it yes i can now take everything that's on this stencil and basically do a second point this is the, wait, there's more moment. Yes. So let's <laughs> grab a piece of black cardstock. Do you want me to hold it? I got it. Okay. Sorry. Thank you, though. You're welcome. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to take this and just get a second print from it. And lay it down. And this has to be done quickly because it dries so fast. And look, I'm going to grab another piece of paper. Got that just bucket of water down Look here. at those yummies over there. Sorry, I'm just no, googling no, no, all the yummies. So I'm just going to take another piece of paper and push down and to get a second print. You don't want to push too long or keep it down because it is drying as we speak. Mm. So you get a little bit. Yeah, I'll oh, hold it up. There we okay. go. Yeah, a little bit on there. Sorry. Oh, and then most You're too of fast it, for me. <laughs> well, because this is drying. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I and get then it, I get most it. of it will come off. Oh, that's such a cool texture, yeah. like background, very distressed. And, and then if you wanted to cut up your stencil, I mean, if you were, <laughs> no! you know, I know. I'm just saying <laughs> that, let's see if I can get more, a, a third print. Um, you know those tools that people have been using for the pressure on like a misty? Oh yeah, the chuck machines. machines. Yeah, yeah. Those actually Or work. even a brayer, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. My brayer is dirty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> more grungy goodness you, you stick on there. Be careful. You don't want to push too hard because like I said, it dries mm. and it'll just rip your paper. Look at that. Yes. So since this is nice and dirty, I'm going to have a bucket of water down Okay, here. we got to go see the bucket of water that yeah, she keeps mentioning it. We're going to look at the, the fun bucket of water here. Sorry, this is like the real true artist stuff. So yeah, if you've got yeah. anything paste-wise, she just has a little bucket, she's dumping everything in there, right. making sure it gets kind of soaky so it doesn't get stuck and kind of gross. But well, while I'm down off. here, look at these guys. These are all the glazes, right? Yes. Yes, just look well, at all. There's some more hanging over there. Oh, but those are the, yes. Look at those, look at the yumminess of this. 
This is just so pretty. I just love the thickness and the beautifulness of it. And there's so many amazing colors. And then if you want to, you can go see all this the This is the more glitz. The what? The ombres. We have ombres. Oh, show, let's show so the ombres. This, this oh. is called um, Fall Golds. Ooh, and it has pretty. a lot of green in it. Oh, yeah. But we will be coming out with a regular glitz that is a real gold. Oh. I mean, to me, this is real gold. But it has a green <laughs> tint. So when you use the leaves or trees or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah, so cool. we'll have lots of new colors in this next coming month. Months. So the ombre, and she's cleaning her hands. Yes. It's all good. It's the, it's the painty goodness that there we have. Oops, if he has to get her hand. Did it fall? It's broken. It's okay, I just have it wedged up there. So these are three other colors, our three pastel colors. We will have a at least two other pastel colors okay coming out soon i guess this is what she meant about i don't know <laughs> so this these are sold separately and then we have look at these awesome stencils oh my goodness i love it oh, look at all the amazing colors here you can really kind of see them right. those right there these are the ombres so you can see this is fall fashions polar ice um they come as kits. You're selling them as like a trio? Well, okay, so we now have 40 colors. Okay. But some of them are only available within a three-pack. Got it. Because we, there was a whole bunch of them that I wanted to release, but it was like way too many to just release it all at one time. So I wanted some ombre sets. <clears throat> now this, these are our ombre greens, and then we have ombre purples and then ombre blues and after that i was like okay let's try something more fun let's try this is ombre-ish yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know I yeah it. i get it i get it and this product right here is a sample of something that's coming out real soon and then we have our fall we should have this the pink they're not the same color <laughs> you can see like that, but yeah. when you put them, this is our one of our most popular ones, and this is those are beautiful colors. I think I this is the color. I'm in love with that color. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite color. This now. was an accident. Oh really? Yes, we were trying to make uh, Christmas green, maybe. Oh. I don't know what happened, but there was that was an accident. <laughs> or, no, we were trying to make this green because this oh. is a much darker green. That's blue. Blue, blue. It is yeah. blue, yeah. Okay. But this one came out greener. Oh, okay. So we were trying to get this blue, but we got green. Oh, we get that. Happy accidents, so right? we Happy kept accidents. it. And then I wanted to do something with a purple, a blue, and a pink for fall fashions, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's very popular. Okay. And our um, three pastels, which we will have more coming out in pastels. All right, so the other thing that's like totally caught my eye is this wall of oh, yes. shimmering okay. over here. You got to tell me about that because that is All just right. like amazing. I I so, you know, I'm a really good shopper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, ask my husband. <laughs> and um, I love shaker parts. I mean, just plain and simple, mm -hmm. except, well, let's, let me come, come this way. Okay, so okay. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah, so because I love shaker parts so much, we have pearls. These are flat back pearls that are ombre also okay these are f this is the only full pearl that we have i love your containers pearl. thank you my containers are fabulous those. fabulous he would watch me pick some out yeah and put them on my oh he's yeah like, what if it just opened it and had two sides oh, smart. these are our gems now i design everything i pick everything mix everything mm -hmm. so we have our gems are the best quality you can get before you hit a Swarovski. Sor I think that's how you say it. Swarovski. Swarovski. Yeah, so, like yeah, whatever. <laughs> so something else brand new this month is we're coming out with some larger embellishments. Oh, These are geez. actually butterfly wings made out of clay. So someone is so talented, handmade. I know. Is it clay. those canes, right? That they yeah. do. They make yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, they're so cool and to then watch. And another thing we came out with is. Our birthday candles, some people just call them sticks, but our birthday candles. I see it. Oh, oh. Is it our birthday candle, now you can really see what's in it. We have one set that is like a sequence plus mix, mm -hmm. but you only would get 10 candles. Candle, candles. So people were like, okay, well, what happens when my kid turns 11? Right, know? right, right, right. Well, we really couldn't afford to put even one more of them because we try to keep our prices low. Right, right. So we came up with a bulk 
or ah. I guess a bulk issue of candles. So now you could get uh, 50 candles mm -hmm. with these little fit clear. Who doesn't need more clear fish bowls? Yeah, 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 yeah. We all need them. Mm -hmm. And um, 13.99. Oh, nice. So for 50 candles, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. And if you've got to put 50 candles on, you know, your birthday card. <laughs> right. Right. So we have our new phone. This is also something my husband designed for me. Because, well, I say designed. He sourced and did it exactly that like that. That is I super wide. So it is super wide. It's four inches wide. Ow. Because when you make a card yeah. and you have to take all those little pieces of foam mm -hmm. or those strips and then and an layer, hour layer, later, yeah. later, you're literally like, uh, why did I just lay it flat? And you got some free cuts? Yes. So these are a little bit shorter and they're a sample pack. But the great part about this is it's 50 feet long. Wow. So this is good for a two, five by seven, and especially slim one. Mm -hmm. So it does, however long you want your piece of foam to be, it is. You're good to go. And how much do you think this costs? Thirty dollars. Uh, well, it's forty. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm all fucking. About fifty dollars. You asked me a wrong 40. question. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> one that that would be like. An inch this thick would yeah. be like thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Got it. Got so it. this is a little bit under four. It's one sixteenth shorter than four inches. I'm horrible so, when you ask me prices no, and okay. stuff. No, I am no, the no, worst. No, no, I'm no. sorry. But what's great Two dollars. Also, <laughs> is that if you forget to stamp your sentiments, mm. you have this nice oh, hard piece yeah. of foam. You know that you could put in your misty mm -hmm. or am stamp your sentiments and this happened many a times to me mm -hmm. and my design team's like this is the best part about it you know yeah because you ever had nice like yes. squishy things right and also it's very easy to die cut so when you have something like uh like these here take this these little critters oh. so if you see they're perfectly die cut See that foam? So that foam die cuts that beautifully. That foam die cuts too. beautiful. That's nice to know. That was, I told you, it's Thank my you dream so foam. <laughs> so, um, you you know, you can, you die cut it and. You don't have to worry about it being funny because you got a gap That's in the middle right. and it warps That's and right. Sorry, does anything Sorry. oddball. Okay. Exactly. The wall of glitter. Oh, there's even more little fun pieces oh, over yes. here. So, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Lots of beautiful stamps. Yes. I cannot, you know, check out the website for all the beautifulness, the dyes that go with them. I'm not going to discount all your beautifulness over here, but I like the glitter. <laughs> so here. I'm weird like that. We, Except for your girls. Your girls are so yes. cute. So these are our horoscope girls. There are 11 of them up. We have one more month left. Makes the complete 12. Very cool. Um, we have our new iconic beauties here, which I, this to me, this is going to be kind of more of a true mixed media ish girl instead of like our BFF girls are right. very teenage, cutesy, 20s, 30s, you know, mm -hmm. where this is, could be the classic. Right. Classic. Right, right. Our next one's a bride. Okay, and then now what? Yes. Are you like, okay, Nicole, what's <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, I love your stamps. Like I said, I cannot. I like, I gravitated, I came over to here for the sparkle, and then these girls just totally caught yes. my attention. I think they're absolutely so amazing. This Where's is... Libra? Who? I'm a Libra. Oh, there's my Libra. There you go. So here we have a mixture of our. Um, we do two kinds of compacts. We do one that's just a sequence mix that's called sequence mix. Mm -hmm. Then we have another one that's called sequence mix plus. Ah, and the sequence so mix, mix plus is going to have clay pieces. So this is called milk and cookies. Oh. <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily have to match something that we have. Right. They're meant to because nobody shops just one collection. No. So if, you know, we don't necessarily have a milk and cookie um, stamp set, but that doesn't mean that Lawn Fawn doesn't have a milk and cookie stamp set. Right, right. Um, here's another new one. Um, Honey Bear. Look at that bear. It's just a dog. And the little honeycombs are in there, too. And the little honeycombs are in there. Horrible. And red hearts. Oh, yeah. So it's what's good about it is, I have to hold myself back from not using all the little red hearts. <laughs> this is the one I was telling you about that's the mix of just the candles. Oh. So it comes with candles and the little candy pieces and iridescent clear. Got it. But um, it only comes with 10. 
Mm -hmm. And it's it for five ninety nine. So it's a good value because you get other pieces. Right. But people wanted more of specific of just the candles. Okay. I'm loving this one too. This is brand new. This is it's called oh, Rainbow. Oh I wait, it. it's, it's not. Um, Day of Rainbows. Yeah. So there's two one. actual uh, different rainbow pieces. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I missed the little guys, but yeah, I saw the big ones first. My favorite, see this 8 millimeter sequence? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love 8 millimeter. <laughs> Most people don't, though, so I try not to, to stay aware. So, our Easter, this is cupcakes. This is my favorite Christmas one I've ever done. That is adorable. Of I love this little candy cane. Cane. Yeah. Um, we have sunflowers. And these actually, if you look, have little diamonds in them as well. So it's oh, not yeah. just clay. This has clay sequins and diamonds. So, and then we have coffee beans. Oh, look at, they're huge. They are. That's awesome. So the amount of clay from each one, um, we try to keep it as consistent as possible. Mm -hmm. Like this one, you can see how many heads are here. But then you might have another one like coffee beans that only has five or six right because of what it costs yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so we try to keep we want everything to stay the same cost because mm -hmm. vendors I mean stores really like that so um, now we can talk about our shape okay bar. now we're gonna get to like the super glittery okay like sparkly now, this this is a product that I found we're the first company and it, we call it shaker garnish. Mm -hmm. Should have called it shaker guts. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. So this, you can use this in a shaker card all alone. Okay, you do not need Oops, to. They're add attached. It. You're attaching yeah. here. Okay, I'll so get like one here. So like this. Here, like this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's shaker garnish with our full front shaker card. Okay, oh. beautiful, mm -hmm. right? However, when I bought it, when I thought about it. I thought of it as an additive to help people make their more expensive mixes stretch farther. Mm. So this is a full front shaker card that I made and I threw in red, black and silver garnish. And you guys have the, the packaging to uh, the sorry, the acetate the dye, the dye like, yes, to cut yes, that and to make yes, that, yeah. Yes. This, yeah, everything you see on the yeah. So this is a full front shaker card, and you can see I added the um, the shaker garnish to make it uh, even more, kind of bulk yeah, it up a bit, right? Kind of, but, well, make it a little more oomphy. I wanted you, you know, sometimes when I I'm, when I'm I'm the owner of the company, and sometimes I'm using half a container of sequins in a card. Yeah. And I'm like, whew. Yeah. This is an expensive And to card. fill this one all up, it would take the entire jar right. of that. So this so, kind of helps. Yes. Lessen the, the cost on the, exactly. the almighty wallet. And I'm a crafter and I know what it means to have full um, full color symbol. <laughs> so if you look right here, here's a card though that's just the shaker fill in it, the shaker garnish without anything else. So shaker you guts, you can just shake your butt. <laughs> the white is my favorite color. It is really cool. I, I, I know it. people are going to all buy the clear like this. Okay, they're going to buy the clear because that's just how we are, right? The white, you know, the white it is pops. just that off. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Oh, and then so. here's a little another one that's kind of in the background here. Oh, yes, there you go. And then you guys can see all the amazing colors yes. that are here. And then we also have a line of crystals. Okay. And, and how thick are they? They're a little less than four millimeters. Okay. So you are getting a perfect size for a shaker. And we can hear it. And you can hear them. So here you see this is just the clear. Yeah. And we actually have two clear by accident. Um, the, my supplier wanted to surprise me. <laughs> so she came out this month. We now have the iridescence. Mm -hmm. And now we have, um, we, no, we had diamond before. Okay, I don't know where the diamond one is. Oh, oh here's one? There it is. So, yeah, no, that's not. I forgot what this one is. Right here. This one's diamond. Okay, so the cup, so these are all named after gemstones. So before we just had clear diamond, was what it was called. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they're all called diamonds. <laughs> but this one is clear. Now we have a new one, which is iridescent. Oh, yeah. Clear. So they are. It's a subtle difference, but this the, one just yeah, has you can that, that see little that. extra yeah. glitz to it. Yeah. Shine. Right. Phytoscopeness. Yes. And then we also have one that we're out of that's called Opal, mm. which is a very vintage, it looks like a cloudy 
dying. I mean, it, it's, it's not yellow, but it's not clear, but we're out of it. Uh, we, also have a, we also have a silver sh uh, shaker garnish that we're out of also. Why are you well, telling me about things that we're out of? That's not fair. The, it's the world right now. <laughs> you know? But it are you going to be getting them back in? Yes. Okay. okay. As soon as the world can handle itself again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got to roll with the punches. It's yes. just how kind of very, everything very is, so. is yeah. right now. Well, thank you so you much. We're going to flip this around and do a little sign off. So thank good you. Thank you so night. much. I mean, good night. Good night. Bye guys. <laughs> See you later. Thanks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos coming very soon as the rest of the day. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I think I just said that. And goodbye for now.